tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Good evening. Christmas is uh, around the corner and up in the air. Uh, and uh, tonight, our learning module will be uh, the last of the five elements, uh, water-related businesses. The relative equal importance of this element uh, in our lives is such that water is a symbol of money and finances in Feng Shui. Uh, so Chinese uh, Feng Shui followers are very uh, worried of uh, water, not only businesses, but even the placement of water uh, you will be surprised that typical uh, chinese entrepreneur would have a water tank or what we call an aquarium in his office and that's already his uh, gauge for his financial management of his business if the aquarium water is filled to the brim without evaporating which uh, normally happens if it's well maintained and it's clean, that means his finances is clean and his cash balance, uh, water symbolizes uh, finances. If it's up to the brim, it means uh, cash balance or reserves is all right. No? If the water turns murky or the water level is low, that means cash balances very low. And uh, finances can get shaky if the uh, aquarium water is dirty. Why? In relation also to the fish, the fish inside the aquarium is a symbol of cash. Okay? So if the water turns uh, unstable and can kill the fish, it can also kill cash flows. Okay? So one of the parameters in doing business is just looking at the aquarium, they know right away the status of their business without further audits or whatever in terms of a complicated uh, accounting and financial terminology. Tonight, we have a special guest. It's our uh, privilege and honor to have in our company tonight uh, Mr. Jose Pete Arce Jr., uh, leading uh, insurance guy in his field as well as uh, executive director of the Association of Philippine Chinese Understanding or uh, ACU. So let's welcome uh, Pete Arce. Uh, Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, uh, Pete. Okay. So before uh, we proceed, why I uh, invited you to be our guest uh, in relation to our topic. Because insurance, per se, yes. is a uh, uh, water-related business. Because behind all insurable interests are uh, uh, financial interests. No? Uh, yes. Water yes. is finances. Okay? So let's proceed uh, for the list of water-based elements, uh, enterprises, uh, help me read along, uh, Pete. Yes. Number one is water supply company. Number two, water station. Mm -hmm. Number three, ATM automatic two big machine business. Mm -hmm. Number four is water dispenser manufacturing and sales. Number five is mineral water manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Number six is online mineral water delivery. Okay, for a while, Pete, no? uh, yes. you might have uh, laughed at ATM or uh, automatic tubic machine. This oh. is very popular in Cebu, in the, uh, not only in Cebu City, but also in the outskirts of Cebu uh, provinces. No? Almost every Sari Sari store has that water dispenser called Automatic to big automatic machine. Where yeah. you drop, I think, a peso or five pesos for you to get access to a glass or a bottle of uh, water. Oh, I see. So, 
that's for uh, the information of everyone here and abroad who are not familiar with uh, ATM. Although nowadays, Pete, do you know the hashtag of millennials when they say ATM? Oh, that's automatic two big machine, right? Yeah, for a lesson, it's automatic two big machine. But sa mga millennial, you know what that means nowadays? ATM. I don't. Ano, it's not it's an uh, automatic teller machine in the banks. Uh, yes. In the panic twist, uh, it means ang tanga mo. <laughs> <laughs> so, Waterproofing services. Okay. Water drainage design and contractor. 24. Flood control equipment suppliers. 25. Fire extinguishers, extinguisher business. 26. Automatic fire sprinkler services. Mm-hmm. 27. In-house water hose based fire fighting design and installation service. Okay. One delicate business here is the water proofing services. Because uh, due to uh, certain uh, natural uh, occurrences like earthquakes, uh, yes. sometimes uh, buildings develop uh, airline cracks, no? That it affects okay. the waterproofing uh, aspect, and the uh, repair of this is very difficult. So uh, it evolved into a lot of water uh, proofing or water sealing services, uh, which ranges from uh, glue type or uh, cement type to glue okay. the airline. Uh, uh, cracks down to uh, the latest technology I understand is the paint itself either using epoxy paint or uh, a, a different formulation that includes already waterproofing okay let's uh, continue Pete 28 fire hydrant manufacturing and sales 29 fire truck sales 30 subdivision and project fire hydrant contractor. 31 water equipped engineering services. 32 water salination business. 33 okay. water chlorination service. Okay, one of the unique uh, but big uh, business here is uh, water salination business. We have a lot of uh, island provinces that uh, already lack water supply. I understand even yes. Cebu uh, uh, subscribes to this, uh, having a water salination uh, uh, supply uh, from uh, from the sea no? uh, in certain areas of uh, Cebu and other parts, Palawan as well as uh, I think in Mindanao. No? Uh, a good friend of mine and client, uh, Che Suler, uh, former owner of uh, Crystal Clear Water, is a pioneer in this uh, field of business. Okay. 54. Fish sauce factory, dried okay. fish business. 56. Seafood market, uh-huh. seafood restaurant, seafood supplier, seafood exporter. Seafood importer, 60. Okay. So this, between the lines, the forerunners in the seafood businesses would really be the provinces of Sambuanga, where sea bones abound, Cebu for the dried fish as well as uh, uh, live seafoods. And uh, the other equally popular would be capis for their prawns, uh, prawn farms and other uh, uh, crabs. No? Okay. So let's continue, Pete. 61. Oysters Bar. Mm-hmm. Driving Sports Business. Diving Spot Destination Business. Diving Equipment Business. Diving Tourist Guide. Jet Ski Equipment and Sales. Speedboat Sales. That's 68. Okay. Uh, aside from the Oyster Bar, uh, and between the lines would be also oyster farms, no? So, we've heard of uh, the famous uh, uh, Davao Pearl Farm, 
but uh, the bigger oyster farms here are found, I think, uh, the one owned by uh, uh, the late Danding Kuanko somewhere in... Uh, Amampulo. Oh, oh. Ayan, near there. 22, no? wind surfing business, surfing business, okay. wakeboarding business, banana boat business, parasailing business, water skiing business, and jetty port business. Okay. Oh, the most uh, uh, lucrative here among this group is uh, my experience with Jetty Port. No? Jetty Port is similar Jetty to the port. port you have in Atiklan to Boracay. Okay. okay. Actually, that was uh, conceptualized by uh, a client of mine, Mr. Henner Mendoza. Very creative group. Uh, I think the group is venture capital or something they package uh, municipal bonds for ljus to finance projects like this so uh, a lot of other areas uh, now since tourism is a growing uh, industry in new discovery areas let's say like uh, parts of palawan or Kalamoan or other areas, uh, jetty ports can be a valuable uh, LGU or private sector uh, and Business. government partnership projects. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. 89 is jetty port concessionaire, jetty port porter service, jetty port maintenance services, jetty port security services. Jetty Port Clinic Services, Jetty Port Parking Business, Jetty Port Waste Disposal Contract. Here is the pet water bottle business. Actually, that's the plastic bottle we normally see for uh, mineral water. And the pioneer here was uh, the Lim family. No? Uh, uh, I had a client who's uh, also the owners of uh, Casa Armas Restaurant. They're the franchisee here mm -hmm. uh, but their wealth stem from uh, being the pioneer in pet uh, water bottle supplier for all the initial uh, mineral water manufacturers okay so something you can look at uh, in the future no? nowadays pet water bottles you can buy wholesale from Divisoria and create your whatever you want to put inside your own juice beverage whatever okay so that ends uh, our uh, list of 168 business opportunities related to water uh, Pete okay. Arce the insurance guy okay the go-to insurance guy uh, can you tell us about your uh, insurance agency firm as a introductory note uh, Pete Yes, I've been in the insurance business, both life and non-life, but uh, particularly on the land life side no, for almost 30 years to 40 years already. Wow. But, uh, I have my agency, we call it East Asian Eagle Insurance Agency, catering or servicing uh, non-life insurance clients. No. And uh, I carry seven prominent uh, big companies. Okay. Uh, for Pete, example. Let me play dumb. Huh? Uh, this is what I learned in uh, uh, college. No? How to play dumb. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said your life and non life. So life insurance is for living things, right? Yes, yes. Life. You mean, uh, Non-life is sapatay. <laughs> <laughs> when we categorize it as a non-life, we are speaking on, uh, let's say, motor car, on your uh, houses or residence or buildings, your ownership. No, non-life ownership. Ah, so you insure them against what? uh against uh, everything for example in motor car we insure it on against accidents no okay. or any fortuitous events but right now because of climate change 
uh, we have to ensure the it is a mass already for especially for uh, mortgage banks to ensure all uh, vehicles with acts of God, acts of nature. What what do you mean by acts of God? In insurance. When you say acts of nature or acts of God, it is an act or fortuitous event done by nature or done by God's self. For example, typhoon, flood, uh, volcanic eruption, uh, hurricane, etc. Okay. What do you call this coverage in particular? Uh, in your insurance uh, language or terminology? Acts, acts of God or acts of nature. No, no. I mean, uh, what type of insurance coverage? Uh, when you talk of uh, uh, motor car, uh, it's it's a uh, comprehensive comprehensive insurance with awesome. acts of God. That includes everything. Okay. Yes, formerly uh, comprehensive insurance only includes uh, accidents, mm-hmm. you know, and also, for example, for uh, theft. But now uh, we have to include the uh, acts of God because of climate change. I have a fearless forecast within five or ten years. In the non to non distant future, water will be the most expensive uh, commodity in the world, and especially wow. in here. Oh, that reminds me of our common friend. You know attorney Ariel Martinez, right? Best friend? Yes. Okay, classmate of your brother in engineering. Yes. You know, he was the lawyer of Agua Vida before. Okay? Okay. The franchising. So as Agua Vida grew, uh, he was offered by uh, the owners 10% uh, ownership if they uh, sell. No? I think uh, with the management contract back to back, something like that. And uh, he sought the advice of my Feng Shui teacher. Okay. But the, <laughs> the Feng Shui teacher told him, that's crazy. Nobody will buy water. It's available from the faucet. No, <laughs> what's Okay. Yes, yes. But, uh, a few months later, Aguavida was bought for a hundred million. He could have owned ten percent of a hundred million, and he said, "Where's your Feng Shui teacher?" <laughs> he wants to get back to the Feng Shui teacher. Going back a bit to property insurance, as you said, homes. Uh, of course, there are also acts of God that you uh, insure this against, no? especially for yes. building, uh, for stores in the recent typhoons or even earthquakes. Uh, let's just tackle on, uh, let's say, fire. No? Uh, yes, that's the main peril, fire and lightning. For, uh, no, no, for houses and... Uh, uh, houses, rest- everything. Okay. Uh, buildings, re- uh, rest- restaurants, factories, mm-hmm. etc. Okay, let me share with you an experience I had with uh, fire, at least two, no? Well, one, on the family side, we had a maternal uh, estate property. It got struck by fire without yeah. us knowing uh, that uh, it wasn't insured by uh, my mom, no? So it was a total loss, no? oh. So that's why I was... Uh, uh, awakened to the importance of uh, fire insurance. Second was uh, when I encountered a special case in Feng Shui. Uh, a client of mine, uh, Joey de Venetia, uh, yes. the son of the speaker, he had this uh, multimedia telephony that sells index pagers. Uh, yung, they were the competitors before of uh, what's this? Uh, this uh, beepers. Uh, I forgot the popular brand before, no. But uh, what happened was his 
office got burned along with Dia. Wow. So he summoned me and consulted me about Feng Shui. He said some of his Chinese friends told him it's bad Feng Shui to occupy a place that has been raised by fire because the really insurance uh, company on top of I think it was an agency on top of his office was the one that got burned and his place got water damaged because of uh, okay. uh, the volume of uh, the fire department uh, used to extinguish the fire upstairs so he said shall I continue here or not and uh, from my learnings in Feng Shui, uh, it's not advisable because they say um, a place that has experienced fire, fire repeats itself in history. Somewhere along the line, the fire can repeat again. No? So I advise him uh, not to retain his uh, lease. So what he did, he claimed water damage and it was good Feng Shui for him. He was able to recover his investments and at that time he was able to rationalize also, rationalize also his office uh, into a downsize proportion to become more profitable. Upon learning that uh, uh, the mode of transport will be helicopter, he said no, I will not risk my family welfare. And my, when my brother asked why, that's not covered by my insurance. So if I die in that trip, my family will have nothing to get out of my uh, insurance coverage. Maybe then, that's a particular policy that uh, the helicopter crash is a, is a, a uh, not covered, no? Uh, but all others are covered. They cover uh, helicopter crash. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, at least, uh, unless, unless, unless it is uh, he committed suicide. <laughs> ah, no. Um, uh, it was just an uh, ordinary, you know, this uh, helicopter ferry service uh, nowadays. The one that uh, carries people, a uh, charter. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's one uh, clarification. It's stated in the policy, which is uh, not uh, not included or included. Uh, you have to read the policy, but I don't. I uh, I'm not aware that uh, as far as life insurance is concerned, that's a that's a no no. Let's include them. Now, in relation to uh, COVID, are there uh, insurance policies that uh, cover COVID nowadays? Uh, pardon, part Adri. In relation to the pandemic, uh, COVID, COVID nineteen. Yes. yes. Can, are, there, are there policies uh, that cover uh, insurance policies? As far as non-life is concerned, uh, people are uh, the big big companies are uh, requiring uh, their uh, employees or their subcontractors to ensure their uh, their employees no uh, against covid-19 mm -hmm. so it's a it's a uh, it's a requirement already uh, for those who are, let's say interested in uh, engaging your insurance agency services how do they get in touch with you is there a website for inquiries or Yes, uh, uh, just uh, my my website is East Asian Eagle at uh, gmail dot com. Uh -huh. ah, my, the, the name of my non life insurance is East Asian Eagle Insurance Agency Inc. So uh, I I cater to all non life insurance, all engineerings. Online life, casualties, everything. So online life except the death. 
<laughs> oh, except the head. Except the head. Except the head. So, But, uh, it's becoming relevant. It's becoming relevant as uh, time goes on because of uh, climate change. Yes, yes. It's becoming yes, relevant. Uh, My website is isasianegel at gmail.com. Okay. Uh-huh. Now let's go to your civic uh, activities, Pete. Uh, you're being executive director. Or what's APCO all about? Association of Philippine Chinese Understanding? Association of Philippine China Understanding was the first uh, friendship organization. Uh, it it uh, it was established on May 9, 1974, even before the diplomatic relation was established between uh, mainland China, People's Republic, and the Philippines by President Marcos. People are monsters. They forget that uh, they are also human beings, no, with feelings like us, and no different, no, in terms of. Uh, culture and even cultural uh, assimilation. So Pete, let's say uh, I have friends or ano, they're interested to join your organization. Where do where can they forward their inquiry or application? Uh, on me. <laughs> Just call my cell phone or uh, our website. We have a website. Uh, Up to- And then we have a Facebook. Okay, so they just either email there or uh, yes, uh, yes. to your website through your website. Yes. Okay, so so far that's about it, Pete. And uh, to our fellow classmates, should you find a need uh, to explore also the insurance insurance aspects of your business, no? After all. It's no joke to start up a business and see it grow, but uh, don't forget at least to protect yourself as an entrepreneur or businessman by insuring your insurable interest, yes, especially yes. non-life. No? Uh, yes. It goes without saying, when you do a loan, you're normally cre- covered with credit life insurance, right, Pete? Right. So, uh, uh, Do consider your other non-life forms of insurance, and you can yes. uh, engage Speed to advise you on this uh, matter. Highly recommended, highly okay. trustworthy. Okay, just so, email us. It's very it's very simple. East Asian Eagle at gmail.com. Okay. Well, ahead of time, Christmas is around the corner. We'll be heading for a Christmas break. We will be rewinding some episodes uh, in the next two weeks, once a week, Wednesday. Watch out if you want to review some of the episodes. Uh, let me greet you in advance. Uh, not Kong Hei Fat yet, but uh, Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all our listeners as well as... Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.